Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord, we bless you. Our reading for today is found in Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 to 4. Since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Look to the heavens is the title of the sermon. In chapter 2 of Colossians, the Apostle Paul tells the believers that they had been buried with Christ in baptism and raised with him. They had been dead in their sins, but Christ made you alive together with him, having forgiven us all our trespasses. Since then, they had been raised with Christ. Now they are to seek the things that are above, to put to death their worldly behaviors, such as sexual immorality and covetousness, to put away such things as anger, wrath, malice, slander, and shameful speaking, to speak truthfully to each other, truth rather than lies. For if then you were raised together with Christ, seek the things that are above. Paul said, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20. Our focus as believers is to seek the things of God, the will of God. The word seek here is present tense, which in Greek means action. Seek and keep on seeking the things that are from above. Do not seek treasures on earth. The Lord Jesus said not to store up treasures on earth. Why? Because everything in this world will be destroyed one day. 2 Peter chapter 3 verses 10 and 11. Things on earth are temporary. The things in heaven are eternal. The Lord tells us to store up things in heaven. Things in heaven are secured forever. Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 to 21. Be faithful, be loving, be praying, and be serving. Your ultimate treasure is the Lord Jesus Christ. In Him are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 3. Believers have a new nature. Our mind is to be transformed day by day. Set your mind on the things that are above, not on earthly things. Paul is telling the Colossians to come to the understanding of what the will of God is. Paul also told the Philippians to put on the mind of Christ. Be not conformed any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you may prove what is good, well-pleasing, and perfect will of God. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. Jesus said that we are in the world, but not of the world. John chapter 17 Ember 16. For you died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, our life, is revealed, then you will also be revealed with Him in glory. This is the key to understand the true meaning of a believer in Christ. For you died, 
physical death will come to everyone. In this case, these Colossian Christians have died to the old order. Their old selves no longer exist. But for them, death has not been the end. They have been raised together with Christ, raised to a new life. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. Your life is hidden with Christ in God. Jesus said, I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. John chapter 10 and verse 28. When Christ, our life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with Him in glory. Hallelujah. First, Paul is saying that Christ is our life. Christ is the author of life. Acts chapter 3 and verse 15. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. John chapter 10. And verse 27, the Bible tells us that it is the Father's pleasure to give us the kingdom. Luke chapter 12 and verse 32. The revelation of God's complete program will be revealed. At that time, at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow of those in heaven and on earth and those under the earth Philippians chapter 2 and verse 10 then you will also be revealed with him in glory when Christ is revealed in glory he will share that day with his disciples those who have believed in him will also be revealed with him in glory the apostle John confirms all this when he says we know that when he is revealed, we will be like him. 1 John chapter 3 and verse 2. Though you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him. 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 8. One day we shall see our beloved Lord Jesus face to face but in keeping with this promise we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth which righteousness dwells oh what a glorious day that will be look up Jesus is coming may the name of the Lord be praised now and forevermore. Amen.